I am Stacy Clements, and I am a sixth grade teacher at Rhodes Elementary. This is my 10th year in Wayne Township, and before then, I was an elementary teacher in Memphis, Tennessee. I graduated from the University of Southern Indiana uh, with my degree in ele elementary education in 2004, and I have been teaching ever since. I am here today to talk to you about an African-American who I believe is history in the making, and that is Kadir Nelson. You may not know Kadir's name, but you have seen his work. He is an illustrator and has illustrated over two dozen stories. His work is on the postage stamp, as well as several magazine covers in portraits, and even the occasional album. Kadir was born in 1974 in Maryland, and at the age of three, he began drawing. At age 11, he began studying art under the watchful eye of his uncle, who was also an artist. After high school, Kadir was accepted into the prestigious Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, New York, where he studied illustration. After college, he decided to move to the West Coast in California and became a freelance artist for Sports Illustrated. In 1997, he also was working on the set of the movie Amistad, where he met Debbie Allen. And through that connection, he became an illustrator for her first book in 1999, Brothers of the Night. From then, his career continued to grow as an illustrator, and he has won several awards because of those illustrations. In 2004, he won the Coretta Scott King Award for illustration for the book Ellington Was Not a Street. In 2007 and 2008, he won Caldecott Honors Back to Back for Moses when Harriet Tubman led her people to freedom and Henry's Freedom Box. It was in 2009 when he was awarded the Coretta Scott King Award for Authors for We Are the Ship, the story of the Negro League Baseball, where he wrote and illustrated that book. He has painted several covers for the New Yorker magazine. Uh, two of his most famous include a 2014 with a very powerful image of Nelson Mandela um, and his stance against apartheid. In 2015, Kadir was asked to paint the 90th anniversary cover of the New Yorker magazine. Uh, he took the mascot, which is a, an aristocratic white male, and reimagined it as a contemporary African-American male. He has also created artwork for albums such as Michael Jackson's Michael and Drake's album, Nothing Was the Same. Along with that, he has created illustrations for books by uh, celebrities Will Smith and Spike Lee. So why do I believe that he is history in the making? Kadir has said that when he opened the books when he was a child and looked at stories, he did not see people who looked like him. So he said that it was a self-appointed responsibility for him to tell the story of African Americans so that when a student or an adult opens a book or goes to a museum today, they can see people who look like them and be proud. And I think that is exactly what makes him history in the making. Thank you.